what's up everybody? This is Ray and welcome back to our Objective-C video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at ARC, or Automatic Reference Counting. Okay, so in the last video, you've seen how to do manual memory management, and hopefully you've seen what a pain it is. In this video, my goal is to show you how nice and awesome ARC is and how it makes things totally easy for you. So the idea behind ARC is you can no longer call retain, release, auto-release, or dialloc manually because the compiler is smart enough to know all the rules we just discussed from the memory management part, and it inserts all that code for you automatically based on your usage. So an important thing to note is ARC does not equal garbage collection. It's not like other languages where periodically something's going to be scanning through all your object graph, looking for things that aren't referenced and cleaning them up. Instead, Objective-C, the compiler, is actually going to be inserting you know, the, the retain and the release lines of code in the proper spots. And as soon as an object gets down to zero for its reference count, it'll be you know, released automatically right, right at that point. And so, um, there's a couple things you have to do differently. So when you create pointers to objects, you have to specify whether they are a strong reference or a weak reference. And we actually discussed this a little bit back when we discussed properties. The difference is a strong reference means I want this object to stick around as long as I'm alive and I'm pointing to that object. Weak means I'm all right if that object goes away if, if nobody else needs it. And if that does happen, um, it will just be set to nil uh, and, uh, and you just won't be able to use it anymore. Um, so just like you can declare pointer variables as strong as weak using underscore, underscore strong, or underscore, underscore weak, for properties, you can also declare them as strong or weak just without the underscores. Okay, I have here the example from the last video where we were doing everything with manual memory management. What I'm going to do is I'm going to then convert this project to use ARC and show you how much easier everything becomes. So going, selecting the memory test, I'm just going to switch that automatic reference counting flag back to yes. Okay, and I'm just going to build to show you, wow, I get a whole lot of errors now. But that's okay, we can go through and fix these. Let's start with sweater.m. We see here there's an error at the end of dialloc that says arc forbids explicit message send of dialloc. It's because you're not supposed to manually call that anymore. That's okay. All we have to do to fix it is delete it. And that's actually it for that file. Moving on to person.h, there's two properties here marked as retain. And it turns out that it's not giving us a warning or an error on this because uh, it turns out retain is defined to be the same as strong. But it's better practice to use strong instead of retain when you're using arc. So I'm just going to change both of these to be strong. Switching to person.m, it's giving me a warning that says, don't call retain manually. That's because arc will automatically do that for you. So all I have to do is set it to be named directly. And it says, don't call auto release directly like that either. And so I just remove that. And then last but not least in dialloc, it says, don't call release on things. So go ahead and remove that. Um, okay, so we're good there. Now let's move on to appdelegate.m. So here it says don't call release. Okay, delete. And uh, those are gone too. And if I run it, we see here that everything is deallocated just as before. But now we're using ARC, our code is much more simplified, and we haven't had to worry about memory management quite so much or have the likelihood to make as many mistakes. Okay, so as you can see, ARC really simplifies things and keeps a lot of uh, common problems, typos, and uh, bugs from, from even taking place in the first place in your code. So you definitely want to be using it. I do want to show you one common gotcha that you can have with ARC. You might think, well, if I use ARC, I'm never going to have memory leaks again. It's, not quite true. There's a common situation where you can have that happen, and it has to do with retain cycles. So say we modify our sweater class to refer to have a pointer back to the person who's wearing the sweater. And say we make both of those references strong references. Well, now we have a problem because the sweater has a strong reference to the person, and the person has a strong reference to the sweater. So the reference, the retain count on both of those objects is always going to be one, and they're never going to be cleaned up. So the way you work around this is you have one of the pointers be a weak reference instead, and the other is a strong. So because it's a weak reference, it can, it's okay to go away. So if the gray sweater has a weak reference to Vicky, then because it's a weak reference, Vicky can go away, be deallocated, and then when Vicky's deallocated, 
the sweater will no longer have a reference and they can both be deallocated. Okay, let me show you what that would look like in Objective-C. So we'll go into our sweater class. We'll add another property here. We'll make it a strong property called person. Go into app delegate. When we set the sweater, we will also set the person wearing it. So after we set that, gray sweater dot person would be Ray. Blue sweater dot person would equal to be Vicky. And here, gray sweater dot person would switch to be um, Vicky in this case, and the blue sweater dot person would be nil. Now, I'm going to go ahead and run this. Uh, it's, it's warning me that there's no person class declared, so I'll just pre-declare it like that. And you can already see from the output here that we only have two things that are deallocated. And we would actually see this memory leak in uh, instruments as well if I go to profile. Now we see a person and a sweater have been leaked because they have a both have strong references to each other. So to fix that, like an example, all I have to do is set this to be a weak reference instead. If I run it now, all four are deallocated, and if I ran instruments, I wouldn't see that leak anymore. All right, that's it for this video tutorial, but as always, we have a challenge for you. This time, it's a real simple challenge. I showed you kind of the manual way to upgrade a project from ARC, but I want to show you there's actually a built-in way in Xcode to upgrade a project from non-ARC to ARC. And in doing so, this will actually give you a little extra uh, peek at, at what changes exactly have to happen when you switch between the two and what is the compiler kind of doing for you automatically. So uh, what I want you to do is open up the uh, challenge from the last video. If you don't have it, we have a starter project for you. And go inside, uh, edit, refactor, convert to Objective-C arc. Follow the steps in the wizard. And uh, in the end, it, it will, you'll see a preview of what changes need to, to happen to all of your code to get it to convert to ARC, and it will actually do all of it for you. Follow the wizard, run the project, it'll work just as usual, but using ARC. So it's a good learning experience. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.